Callie Herbst, great to see you again. I know Milwaukee with Kids is kicking off the month of March with some really great activities for the whole family. One of those is really specifically looking at STEM and getting young girls interested in STEM. Yes, Discover World puts on this amazing annual event every year. It's for girls and STEM happening on Sunday. It'll have they'll have interactive hands-on activities, but girls can also like like interact and communicate with female role models who are in the STEM fields. And then they all can also do a meet and greet with the Mermaid Echo um, Mermaid Lady. So that sounds very fun too. Absolutely. I know the girls will love that. And it's kind of a sneaky way to make it educational without them totally noticing. As for the next event, this is something that I think I would totally enjoy. And I'm sure there's a lot of parents that love this cartoon character. The SpongeBob musical is coming to Milwaukee. It is. It's the opening weekend of SpongeBob the musical um, for young audiences at first stage. They do a great job with all of their performances. This one is specifically meant for kids ages six and up. So it's a shorter runtime. It's a seven 75 minute show. There's an intermission to make it, you know, friendly for families. And so, yeah, if your kids like SpongeBob the show, this might be a good uh, show, live show for them. For the zoo, they are doing another one of their family free days. And this is something they don't do all that often. So, if you don't get to the zoo very often, this is a great way to sort of immerse yourself in the wildlife. Yeah, absolutely. And they do these family free days um, during the colder months. So the last one is going to be in April. So you want to take advantage of these now. Um, they don't do them, you know, in the summer. A good thing to do, too, when you go um, to one of these free days is maybe you want to check out one of the paid experiences, like the Gorilla Trek virtual reality exhibit is really cool. And if you haven't paid admission to the zoo, it might be a good day to, like, pop an extra $6 a ticket for the, these cool add-on experiences. And that's open year-round. That's a great point. There's a lot of things that people probably put off because they already paid for admission. So not having to pay for that opens up their wallet to maybe some other things. Absolutely. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us again this week. We'll see you next week for more weekend picks from Milwaukee with Kids. Thank you, Mallory.